Dan, so much thrown at your team in that game, but you really made Saracens work hard for that for that win. How proud are you of your team? Oh, incredibly proud. I think, um, I was just saying to the group before, I don't think I've ever been involved in a game that's had so much adversity and commotion and um, chaos, to be honest, to, to lose your starting goalkeeper and then lose your goal shooter and then lose your wing defence and three key players in the space of 10, 15 minutes. And to see the youngsters come off the bench and straight away get involved and hold their own. Um, so many little wins for us today, which I think was so pleasing. And you know, while we had maybe some moments there that a little bit of inexperience at times was costly for us, the overall learning opportunity and exposure for um, the younger players that, that took the court, invaluable. I was going to say, that was a massive win, wasn't it? The, the strength and depth of the squad and the players that came on. How pleased were you with that then? Uh, incredibly pleased. You know, I, I thought Paige Kindred, when she came onto that goalkeeper position, had a, a pretty tough job to do throughout the day. Um, but she hustled and bustled and, and really reaped the rewards of, of that style of play late in the game. I thought Sienna Rushton that came on to goal shooter, 18, um, and never really played against the quality of those two defenders, who were probably one of the best combos and the hardest, toughest combos in the competition, I thought she rose to the occasion beautifully um, and played with great confidence. Um, and then, you know, Emily and Amelia coming into the game too at pressure times, I thought they were sensational. And I love seeing the players like the, the Brie Greasons and the Rhea Dixon step up and take control when they needed to. Um, and just quickly stepping out of the shadows as the younger players to become more of those senior leaders. So it was, it was an exciting day um, and heaps to take out of it. Rhea Dixon, who you mentioned there, got the player of the match. How good was she for you tonight? Uh, amazing. And this is just the beginning for her. I've, I've rated her incredibly highly for a number of years. Uh, recruiting her was always around trying to take her game to the next level and give her some extra tools and, and work on her confidence. And her ability to take ownership of her own athletic performance and journey since being here at Leeds has been amazing. And she's so clever, so smart. Um, and I love watching her play. I think she's, she's really slick. Um, and you know, she was a really solid player for us today and she, she was consistent from start to finish. And um, I think she's got a really bright future. I'm really pleased to see her progress so well. And just a little update on the injuries. How's it looking? Uh, the list is extensive at this stage. So um, we'll take the girls to get some, some medical assistance and, and see where they're at. But um, and obviously the three injuries that happened didn't look good. Um, but uh, you know that'll be what we move our attention to now, close out the game and, and start thinking about what's next and fingers crossed that the girls are okay and nothing too serious. And just to put in perspective again, game two, really pushed Saracens to it. You must be pleased with the opening weekend. Oh, absolutely. I think any less of a team would have fallen apart with that type of adversity and that could have easily blown out to a 15-20 goal loss with what we were losing in terms of quality of athlete and the chaos that was out on that court at times. Um, but to stay within three, four, five goals for most of it, if not even have opportunities to get closer, um, it says a lot about these players and them understanding their role and um, them really making some great progress. So, you know, I think there'd be a lot of people that watched that game today that really respected the players for how they handled it. And I couldn't be more proud for what they put out there today.